נשנאים כמה עשה כאן. מלכות תיקה מלכות כל עולמים ומלם של תיקה בכל דור ודור. אדוני מלך, אדוני מלך, אדוני נדבוק לעולם ועד. אדוני עוז ואבו ייתן אדוני ויבדק ואברך את אבו ושלום. Lord, there is no God like you, no deeds like yours. Your kingdom is a kingdom for eternity. And your dominion is from generation to generation. The Lord is king. The Lord was king. The Lord will be king forevermore. The Lord will give strength to his people. Lord, give your blessings of peace to your people. Compassionate Father, may it please you to favor Zion with your goodness. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. We trust only in you, King, God, high and exalted Lord of eternity. <coughs> well, we'll start with the uh, Torah blessing. <coughs>
they shall declare my glory among the Gentiles. Then they shall bring all your brethren for an offering to the Lord out of all the nations, on horses and in chariots and in litters, on mules and on camels, to my holy mountain, Jerusalem, says the Lord. As the children of Israel bring an offering and a clean vessel into the house of the Lord, and I will also take some of them for priests and Levites, says the Lord. For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, shall remain before me, says the Lord. So shall your descendants and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, all flesh shall come to worship before me, says the Lord. Amen. And they shall go forth and look upon the corpses of the men who have transgressed against me. For their worm does not die, and their fire is not quenched. They shall be an abhorrence to all flesh. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who gave us the Messiah Yeshua, the commandments of the new covenant. Blessed are you, Lord, giver of the new covenant. The Greek Kadashah reading for today is 2 Corinthians 9, 1 to 15, and Matthew 5, 33 to 37. Today we will read 1 Corinthians 9, 1, 4 to 11. I'm not sure what happened there. Verses chapter 9, 4 to 11. We have no right. Do we have no right to eat and drink? Do we have no right to take a believing wife, as do the other apostles, the brothers of the Lord and Cephas? Or is it only Barabbas and I who have no right to refrain from working? Whoever goes to war at his own expense, who plants a vineyard and does not eat of its fruit, or who tends a flock and does not drink of the milk of the flock, do I say these things in, as a mere man, or does the law say the same also? For it is written in the law of Moses, You shall not muzzle an ox while it treads out the grain. It, is it oxen of God? Sorry. Is it oxen God is condemned? Concerned about it? Or does he say it altogether for our sakes? For our sakes, no doubt, this is written, that he who plows should plow in hope, and he who threshes in hope should be partaker of his hope. If we have sown spiritual things for you, it is a great thing if we reap your material things. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who gave us the word of truth and planted everlasting life in our midst. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the new covenant. 